This one right here represents my past life. This is my neighborhood right here, ONTA for Ontario. The tattoos on Richard De La Cruz's arms are symbols of a conflict so many men in this gang-infested South Pomona neighborhood face, loyalty to gangs or loyalty to God. This is, represents my new life, Jesus Christ, you know, because this was me before and now this is me now. Richard chose religion in 1994, leaving a life behind that almost killed him. I've been shot five times, stabbed four times. When Richard hit rock bottom, he showed up at Pastor Eddie Banalis's door, a man who may preach the gospel these days, but was once a gang member himself. Today, we walk through the park just across the street from his childhood home, where he once ran with the most notorious gang in Pomona, the 12th Street Sharkies. There was actually a helicopter brought down during a riot here when I was a teenager, and I saw it on my front porch. It, it, it was brought down right in that street right there. Pastor Eddie now runs an outreach ministry, Gangs to Grace, named after his autobiography. Today, they take their ministry to the park. This man admitted to me off camera that he's a drug addict but wants help. It's a story Richard knows all too well. When I got plugged in, I was ready to change my life and lay down the guns and the drugs and alcohol and the fast life. You know, I was tired of it all. Richard spent 10 years in and out of prison. He isn't proud of some of the things he's done. I hurt a lot of people, shot a lot of people, stabbed a lot of people, and, you know, I had a really hard time dealing with that. How can God forgive somebody of all their sins knowing they've done all this to people, you know? Richard and Pastor Eddie have come a long way together. Once bitter street rivals, a sharky, and an Ontario black angel, they now operate a program where ex-gang members rehabilitate by living on the church campus. I feel for these guys, and I know what that life, what, what road they're headed down. And, and I know that there's a way out. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. And we try to share that with them as much as we can. But like I said, you know, they have to really want to change. Gangsta Grace has other chapters on the West Coast, but this one is the most active and most successful. And where does all the funding come from to help all these ex-gang members who have reached rock bottom and end up at this church? Well, Pastor Eddie says all this is privately funded. All the help comes from the congregation itself. In high definition for Voom HD News, I'm Jennifer Santiago in Pomona, California.